Rick Jensen. On 1150 AM, 1017 FM, WDEL. All right, you know, for many, many years, I've been a client of Dan White, Dan White and Associates, financial planner specializing in retirement income. And every Wednesday after the news at 1.30, uh, Dan or uh, one of the other guys uh, works with him, one of the other ladies who works with him, will call in and have a tip for you as well. In fact, uh, today it's Dan Simon on the phone. He's there in the Middletown office of Dan White and Associates. Hey, Dan, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, Rick. How are you this afternoon? I'm um, doing well. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, I know that you guys are uh, actually sponsoring and presenting this uh, this awesome movie entitled The Baby Boomer Dilemma. It's going to be March 8, next week, March 8, 6 p.m., at the AMC Theater, Painter's Crossing. I I'm told that this is just tremendous because, you know, baby boomers, yeah, maybe you didn't save enough or maybe uh, you just recently lost a boatload of money in the market since November, and a lot of good advice from a lot of well-renowned experts, isn't it? Yeah, Rick, I think it's going to be something that's really unique that we're doing. Uh, it's called the Baby Boomer Dilemma. It's something that we're, you know, hosting the event. It's a private film, filming at the uh, at the theater there, uh, but it does. It brings in uh, a lot of the experts in the, in the retirement industries, you know, guys with PhD backgrounds that yeah, you know, we believe just really reinforces that what we're talking about. And, you know, with the, the decline in pensions that people have these days, uh, there's concerns about the sustainability of Social Security in the future, uh, the inherent risks of having too much money, um, you know, at risk inside 401k plans, which seems to be where the bulk of retirement savings is today. Sure. Uh, I think it's a real eye-opening film that, you know, people should enjoy. Nice. Uh, by the way, it's going to be at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Tuesday, March the 8th. AMC Painters Crossing. Yeah, it's a major motion picture. That's uh, pretty cool. So how do people, uh, you say it's a private screening. So how do folks get a ticket? How do we get in? Uh, contact the office. We certainly, uh, I, I'm not sure where we stand on availability at this point, but uh, I believe there may be still be some seats available. If, uh, if you're interested in seeing it, we'd love to, uh, to welcome folks. All right. So it's Dan White and Associates. You can Google them, Dan White and Associates, or give them a call at 888-690. 8820. Throughout the uh, pandemic, uh, Dan White uh, was uh, reporting on the SECURE Act and uh, other changes in retirement and things like that, Dan. It's Dan Simon, by the way. You can't work for Dan White unless your name's Dan. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, well, it's there's, office there's rule. Too, we, we have a couple exceptions. Yeah. yeah, well, there's Andrew, but we call him Dan. <laughs> yeah, we call them worse, Rick. Yeah, I know, I know. And so, uh, anyway, uh, the, the Secure Act regulations and uh, the age of majority and such for inherited IRAs, these rules are still affecting people, aren't they? They are. So, you know, the Secure Act uh, went into law early 2020, um, you know, went into the you know, end of 2019, into 2020. And Ironically, it took until uh, February, February 23rd, so, you know, what's that, about two weeks ago, uh, for them to release a full 275-page, um, you know, kind of the, 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 the nitty-gritty stuff. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that, that jumped out at us was they actually kind of drew a sand in the line for what the actual age of majority is now at this point. And that figures the government would get, and, by the way, the government would get that backwards. I, I, I love the way you frame that. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, anyway, uh, out there and then they let us know what's in it, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the age of majority is really important when it comes to the Secure Act because the Secure Act changed uh, how non-spouse beneficiaries would basically roll over or inherit a qualified retirement plan. Now, in the past, they could have taken it, rolled it into their account. You know, you do what's called a stretch or an inherited IRA. And then they could have taken distributions based off their life expectancy. So, you know, someone who's younger, you know, their life expectancy is a lot longer. Uh, they could take out a much smaller percentage and allow the account to continue to grow on a tax deferred basis. The law now changed that, you know, if someone who's a non-spouse inherits the account, they're subjecting themselves to a, a 10 year window where they have to empty the account and pay the taxes on it. That doesn't apply to minors though. So if a minor were to inherit uh, let's say an IRA from mom or dad, they pass away, they can roll the account into an inherited IRA, but until they're now the age of majority, which is now deemed 21, they can take smaller distributions based off their life expectancy, but upon hitting the age of majority, they now have a 10-year window where they've got to empty and deplete that account and pay the taxes on it. 
Um, so finally, there's some clarity. There's a, you know, a little bit of ambiguous uh, kind of discussion as to which way it was leaning, uh, but that's uh, that's the law now. So at that age, 21, they now have a 10-year window to uh, to empty the account. Do people really need to sit down with a pro like you uh, to figure this out and make sure they don't make any mistakes about that? They want to avoid making mistakes. That'd be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, some of these things seem complicated. Thing also, you, you hear them, and they seem that maybe they're not so complicated. But then, then you look at the paperwork, and uh, with me, I look at it thinking, "All right, um, I don't want to screw this up. Who do I talk to?" Of course, you know, with stuff like this is Dan. Yeah, I mean, you know, two hundred and seventy-five page document. It's going to be tough to, you know, not only read the whole thing but to comprehend it as well. Uh, one other piece that was in that that you know, I think was uh, worthy of pointing out is that previously, uh, if someone was still in school, it's called the still in school exception, um, that they weren't necessarily, they weren't considered the age of majority until 26. Uh, that's no longer the case. Whether they're in school or not, the age of majority is now fixed at 21. Okay. Man, the, the changes they make, the ones that actually benefit the government, they keep. The ones that don't, they say, okay, we're done. Yeah, it's typical. I'm glad you guys study this stuff because... Uh, uh, what I do uh, study in this realm uh, for the show is is, is often uh, very dull, but then when you think about what it means for people, and th then you realize, wow, this stuff is really quite significant. And I know you do that, but in your own different realm there in planning as opposed to you know what I do in talking about this stuff. Uh, Dan, good stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, Sunday's On the Money Show here on WDEL, Dan White and Associates. Dan Simon, by the way, right there, also an associate. Dan White's. Uh, Sunday, 7 a.m., annuities. Is your annuity still right for you? There's, uh, yeah, I know some people disparage these things, but you know what? I don't think there's any particular financial tool that's necessarily a bad thing and improper for someone's retirement. I've got that in, uh, in my retirement plan as well, and I know a lot of people do. You just uh, try to balance the risk, right, Dan? Yeah, I agree with you 100%. I mean, as Dan White will always say, you know, there's no such thing as a bad retirement vehicle. They'll all work very well at what they're designed to do. So, yeah, and again, annuities are designed for income. So, you know, for the people that are looking for the security and the guaranteed income, similar to, you know, the pensions that maybe people would like to have, uh, tune in. Dan will talk about the uh, the pros and cons for sure. All right, 7 a.m. on Sunday, cup of coffee and a donut. And remember the Baby Boomer Dilemma, major movie screening, uh, March 8, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. next Tuesday, AMC Theaters, Paris Crossing. Uh, you can uh, give a call and talk to a nice guy like this, Dan Simon, at 888-690-8820. He'll check and see if there's any seats available. Thank you, my friend. Be well. All right, Rick. Take care. Thanks a lot.